Given how the SNP look like they're falling short of a majority, is there a prospect of a coalition with the Greens? Are you up for it? <laughs> you really are going to have to ask the First Minister. And I will, but are the, you up for it if she asks you? The opposition parties don't get to decide. No, no, the government but are you gets up to for decide. it if she asks you? What we've said all along, and I'll say it again, is it's, it would be a democratic decision for my party. It wouldn't be me and Laura yeah, 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 Slater, yeah. my co-leader. But if she it. asks you, if she picks up the phone, are you ready to answer it and say, yeah, we'll consider it, we'll look at it? Well, we're always willing to talk to the government and the yeah, Greens... Are you willing, that, you, you're answering a different question there, Patrick. I'm not really. You are. Are you willing to talk to her about a coalition if she wants to consider it with you? I am being absolutely honest with you, Colin. That would be a decision for our National Party Council. It wouldn't be for me. It would be completely out, out with would the rules you like of them party. to consider for it, For me to, to dictate. Would you like them to consider it? I, don't my, mean, I wouldn't expect you to dictate, my guess is, My guess is that the Party Council would be willing to talk... Uh, and, to, and to explore where the options are, but would be concerned about some of the big differences in policy. What would the SNP be willing to, to give ground on, on, on issues like transport, land reform, areas where we've not seen uh, a green agenda in the broader sense, a small G green agenda or a big G green agenda, being pursued by the Scottish Government? So the, the questions would be yes for us, but more to the point would be for the Government. What would they be willing to give ground on?